Filmora 14 vs CapCut 2024. In this video we will do complete comparison of features of these to Beast, AI and Fast Video. Editing softwares to see which is the king of video. Editing. Stay connected till end so you don't miss anything. So without wasting time let's get started. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Filmora 14 unlocks new possibilities for visual storytelling and effects, taking video editing quality to the next level within your breath. CapCut is also not behind in the race, it is known as AI Video Editing Powerhouse, as its recent update made CapCut worth using, instead of comparing all features of both which will make the video lengthy, to keep the video short and informative. In this video we will compare only latest features of Filmora 14 to CapCut 2024. So without wasting time let's get started. In your timeline click on the clip on which you want to apply planar tracking. Go to AI tab and enable planar tracking. You have WO models auto and advance. Adjust the position where you want to track. Click on Analyze, Filmora will process the movement of selected area throughout the clip. Once tracking is complete create the new element, in this case we will create rectangle to cover the sign. Now select the clip and find link element. Use the element you just created. Adjust the scale and position. Now let's create the text we want to put into the sign. Drop down the menu and choose the text you just created. Our desired text on the signboard is done. In this way you can easily create do tracking. As we talk about CapCut, we can do motion tracking. For this I have imported a clip and text into timeline. Let's align the text on top of the moving truck. I will change the font and style of text. Let's see. Cap cuts automatic motion tracking. Adjust it properly according to your object. It will take some time to process the movement and apply the tracking. As you can see that its result is not that good. So in CapCut, like other editing softwares, we have to do keyframing for best results. If you are new to channel like and subscribe to Jugar Expert as we upload such type of informative videos after doing motion tracking using keyframes, this is the final result. Let's move to other features. In planar tracking, Filmora takes the lead. Let's move towards next feature. In order to use this feature, select your all clips, right click and create multi camera clip. Here you can choose synchronization method. Click on Compound Clip in Timeline and select Multicam button. This opens the window showing all camera angles. Just play the clip and click on Clip and Filmora will swift to that camera angle. In this way you can fastly edit your amazing video. CapCut got this feature in the recent update in 204. This feature works same as in Filmora 14. To use this feature, import multiple clips on Timeline. Select the clips, right click and select. Create multiple camera clips. This screen will pop up. Here you can simply edit your multiple clips by just click. This works pretty well. For Multicam both Filmora and CapCut got one point. Let's move towards next feature. This new feature allow you to create path for keyframes. This makes the animation more smooth and efficient. The end result looks like this. In CapCut you can also do animations using keyframes. With the slightest difference, Filmora 14 takes the lead in advance. Keyframing as CapCut animation curves are not as smooth as a Filmora. Let's move toward next feature. In order to keep the video short, we will not go to much details of this feature. AI sound effect. 
allows you to create your own desired sound effects with simple prompt, this saves time for searching on internet for the sound effects. CapCut has sound effects, but it doesn't allow you to create by the prompt, Filmora takes the lead here. In the color tab, choose AI color palette. Import your reference clip and click generate. You can make adjustments to color strength. By this feature, you can apply any movie or series colors to your video clip easily. In CapCut, to use this feature, go to adjustments and use custom adjustment layer. On the right side, there is option color match. Select this and upload the your desired image. It will make your video colors look like is in the image. For this feature, both got a point. Let's move towards the next feature. This feature is same as a Filmora 13. It allows you to auto reframe your clip. We won't go in much details as you already know about this feature. CapCut also has auto reframe feature. This allows you to auto reframe your clip in single click. This is really easy for converting your long videos to 9 ratio 16 format. For this feature, I will give CapCut one point. Open Effects tab and select Face Mosaic, Filmora will automatically detect faces. You can choose which one's face to blur. Just single click and your face mosaic is done. This is amazing and time-saving feature. CapCut doesn't have specific face mosaic feature, but you can simply do this, copy and paste the clip above. The original from the effects select blur. Click on mask and select round shape adjust it according to the face after adjusting properly track mask final result look like this in this filmora again takes the lead Filmora now has the Video Enhancer feature, which will novert your low-resolution video to high-quality video with the help of AI in few seconds. CapCut doesn't have specific AI Video Enhancer. These were some of the features of new Filmora 14 as compared to CapCut. AI Face Mosaic is my favorite. Tell me which feature you like the most. It's up to you which software you use if you are rich and one who doesn't compromise on cracked softwares. Then Filmora 14 is best option. Else if you don't want to purchase Filmora, CapCut 2024 also provides almost all features compared to Filmora 14 for free. Use both and choose the software which best fits your needs. I hope this video will be helpful. Like, share and subscribe to Jugar Expert for more helpful and informative videos. Thanks for watching.